So at this point, you can call me the Kimono Queen. <sighs> oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's a big red button just below this video. Hit the subscribe button, please. Thank you. <laughs> my name is Silem. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a kimono by sewing. Now I already have two videos on my channel where I made a kimono without sewing and a kimono dress without sewing. Now I'm making a kimono by sewing. So at this point, you can call me the kimono queen. So if you want to see how I made a kimono without sewing, I'm going to put the link right here. But also, if you want to see how I made a kimono dress without sewing, I'm also going to leave the link right here. I have a whole playlist of um, 16 videos that I showed you how to make different outfits without sewing. If that's something that interests you, then definitely click the link right here to watch that playlist. So this is the first kimono I'm making that I'm actually sewing, okay? So I just felt like you've seen how to make it without sewing, then it's only right, since my channel is about sewing and not sewing, it's only right for me to show you guys how to make a kimono by sewing, just in case that's actually what you're going for. So if you want to see how to make a kimono by sewing, then keep on watching. So I'm using about three yards of fabric for this and it's a chiffon fabric. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm simply folding it in half, making sure that it's equal and then I'm folding it yet again, simply because I want to cut the both pieces together. I don't want to have to cut um, the front piece separately and the back piece separately. I'm cutting both of them together. So after folding, so the side where I have the double folds, now this side has one fold and then single fabrics or the fabric singly. Then the other side has double fold. So that side that has double fold serves or will serve as my center front. So what I'm simply doing is I'm simply marking a zero line or a baseline where I'm going to start my measurements from. And then from there, I'm simply marking her bust point measurement, which is the measurement from her shoulder to her nipple. And then after marking that, I'm marking the under bust measurement, which is the measurement from the shoulder to underneath her bust. And then I'm marking her hip line measurement, so which is from her shoulder to her hip. So that's 11, 14, and 23. So 11 is the bust point, 14 is the under bust, and 23 is the hip line. So I'm simply extending those lines. Now her shoulder measurement is 15 inches. That divided 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half inches. I simply added one inch, making that um, eight and a half inches. And then from that point, I'm marking her sleeve length, which is 24 inches. So this is going to be an extended sleeve kimono. So I'm marking the sleeve alongside with the rest of the body of the kimono. So now I'm taking 39 inches, which is her bust measurement. I'm just dividing that by four inches. That's why I'm folding my tape um, by four. Then I'm placing that at the bust point. And then I'm also adding two inches allowance. I'm going to do the same thing with the shape, but this time I'm taking 34 inches, which is her shape measurement, dividing my tape by four, and I'm going to place that and place that on the on the bust line. And I'm also going to add two inches allowance to that. Now moving on to the hip, I'm going to take her hip measurement, which is 40 inches. I'm going to divide my tape by four and I'm going to place that on the hip line and mark that measurement, adding two inches allowance as well. Now her round sleeve measurement is 15 inches. 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half and that's what I'm marking now. And I'm just leaving an extra one inch allowance. Now I'm just going to join that um, round sleeve um, measurements or I'm just going to draw a straight line to join the round sleeve measurements. So it creates my sleeve 
and then I'm drawing, going to draw a curve to meet that um, bust point and under bust line. So you know the measurements I marked, her measurements, the bust shape and hip. I'm going to draw lines that are going to connect all those points together. And once I've done that, I'm simply cutting along that line. And I'm also cutting open that um, fold at the other end. And once I've done that, I've gotten the basic outline of both my front and my back piece. So I'm just unfolding it so I can work with my back piece first and then work with my front piece later. For the back neck, I want the width of my back neck to be three and a half inches. So when that's opened up, it's seven inches. Remember that it's folded. And the depth of my back, I want it to be two inches. So I'm just drawing a curve to connect those two points. So I have a round neck at the back. And once I'm done with that, that's basically the back piece done. I'm going to move on to the front piece now. So for the width of my neck for the front piece, I also want it to be three and a half inches. You know that your back piece and your front piece, the width of your neck has to be the same for both of them. That is not, neg that is not negotiable. But the depth of my front um, piece is nine inches. I'm just drawing a slanted line to connect the width with the depth of my neck and that will give me a V neckline. So I'm just cutting open that fold because as you know a kimono is open in front so I'm just cutting open that um, fold. And that's my front piece done now. Now I'm just going to take a piece of fabric so I can cut the belt that I'm going to use to hem the neckline and the rest of the kimono. Now the width of this belt is going to be 3 inches wide while the length is going to be as long as possible because this belt is going to hem the kimono from the bottom all the way around the neck and you're going to see that in a minute but just try to get a very very long stretch of belt even if you have to cut um, your fabric severally and then join it that's fine but just make sure that at the end of the day you have something very long it's better for it to be too long than too short so once I'm done with that I'm just simply cutting those strips they are all three inches wide but they're as long as possible I'm gonna join them end to end so it becomes very very long so that's what I'm doing now. I'm joining each of those pieces of belt I cut end to end. Now once I'm done with that, I have a very long stretch of belt and that's what I'm going to use now to hem the neckline. But I'm not going to use that now, I'm going to work with my kimono first, I'm going to use this later. So I'm taking my back piece and then I'm taking um, one side of my front piece, I'm placing them right sides facing. Now I'm just joining the shoulder and the sleeve, you know it's an extended sleeve, so the shoulder and the sleeve is together, so I'm just joining that with a straight line.
Once I'm done with that, I'm going to repeat the process for the other side. So I'm going to take the other side of the front piece and then I'm joining it with the back piece at the shoulder. Once that's done, now I'm going to shape in my kimono. Remember I left 2 inches allowance, so I'm simply just shaping it with 1 inch allowance. But at the sleeve side, where the sleeve is, which is here now, I'm leaving half inch allowance. But when I get to the body, which I just got to now, I'm increasing that allowance to 1 inch allowance. So I'm simply shaping it with 1 inch allowance. That means that in addition to her normal measurements, there's just one inch allowance on both sides. Now I'm taking that belt I cut, I simply folded it in half, making it one and a half inches. And then I iron that neatly. And then I'm starting from the bottom of one side. And then I'm just sewing that belt all the way around. And after sewing that all the way around, I'm simply cutting off the excess fabric. So if you made yours very long like I did, you, you probably have excess fabric. So just cut that off. Now I'm simply weaving the allowance that I got when I sewed the belt with the kimono. making sure that the allowance faces the kimono side and not the belt side so once that is in place i'm now sewing the allowance down once i'm done with that that's our kimono done Thank you guys for so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.